For several years, the rep has been trying to get Adam Koch, who's the scenic designer, to come here, but his, it's, there's always been a scheduling conflict. He's used a lot in the business, um, has a great reputation. So there's kind of three phases of the set. There's like the very dark Philadelphia world. There's the almost uh, illuminated uh, convent look, which is all the wood, and then the church itself is all white, like white marble, just because it's the biggest, the brightest, and can be, you know, is fully uh, filled with the light of the whole cast by the end. So here, these are the two pages that show the different sides of the, of the towers, the big spinning towers on the side, and you can kind of see what I was referring to. There's the Philadelphia, the brick side, which is the darkened side, the convent side, which is all the wood, the wood paneling, and then the church sides, which is have the big, beautiful stained glass windows and all the soaring arches like you would find. Um, and then to complement the arrangements downstage, upstage there are big sliders, big um, physical backdrops that kind of correspond to the three sides of the towers. The Philly side, which has got brick and a big bridge. The convent side, more wood and screen and doors, windows. And then the big church side with a big rose window. Um, which is really the centerpiece of the church and of the story. I love to see big scenery moving because it just puts my hair on edge and I think it's very exciting for the audience. So I just wanted to make a very uh, dynamic set that just kept moving because it's kind of, I mean, it's a, based on a movie. So it's, it has a very uh, cinematic script. And so I wanted the, the action just to keep going and going because it's kind of like a thrill ride. It moves so fast is, is that you've got to get from scene to scene in, in about one step as opposed to three things moving, it's like one thing moves and we're in the next scene just to keep the action and the energy going. I think the scene shop is ready to kill me um, uh, because the build is huge. It's an epic kind of set. I mean, the process has been so, such a joy to be a part of the Arkansas Repertory Company. Everyone's you know, at the top of their game. The, the carpentry and the painters that um, fabricated the sets are incredible. It's one of, I mean, it's finished beautifully. So on a logistical level, I really appreciate how well it's been made. And then on the design side, I think it's, um, I've been waiting to do a show with like big spinning towers for a while. So I think I just, that's just something I uh, get a lot of joy out of because I just love seeing them move every time. Adam has um, really sort of uh, kicked the top out of the theater with this one. Um, the units are 24 feet high, and, and it's amazing. Um, I think audiences are just going to gasp at the scope of it, as well as the, the uniqueness of it. And, and I would venture to say that, you know, we pr probably have one of the most gorgeous sets for the show that's ever been done.